Dynamic Seas TV's technical blog. Today we're going to be looking at is how you would configure a outdoor extension and an indoor extension on the Gen 2 intercoms. So as you can see here, we're on IVMS 4200 again. So if we go into device management, you can see the device we've already configured in the previous video. If we click on online device, we've got our two inactive devices down the bottom. So if we just tick both of those and press activate, and if we now put in a password, And then OK. So what we've got to do now is just give them an IP address. So you click on the little globe icon. You can do that. Do it for 42. And just put in the gateway. And finally your password again. If we now just do the indoor extension, and then again put in a gateway. Press OK. So now what we need to do is just add them to the software. So because it's already ticked, we'll add the indoor extension first, and that's what we'll call it. And then finally, just put in the password and press add. So that's that one I did. So if we now just do the outdoor extension, and finally again, password, press add. So what we'll do now is we'll go into the outdoor extension first. We just go on the remote config icon there under intercom. ID configuration and where it says number at the bottom you want to change that to 1 and press save because this will be the first extension so as you can see there it says the master out device to a slave device will cause it a reboot so if we, yeah, we're sure press ok so that's going to reboot the outside unit so while it's rebooting we'll go on to the indoor extension again just by pressing the remote config icon and then under intercom and ID configuration. If you click on indoor extension, you'll see station extension. Again, the number here will put in one. You can have up to five extensions, but obviously for this instance, we're just using one because it's our first extension. And again, when we press save, it'll say it's going to make the device reboot. Press OK on that. So now what we need to do is just wait for the two devices to come back online. So they should be booting back up in a second. You can just check on the online device at the bottom and just press refresh. So as you can see there, the outdoor extension has just came back up. And as you can hear, it's just came back up. So if we go back onto it under remote config, under intercom, and dial now, you want to put in the room number, which will be the same as the room number which you put in on the main outside unit. So if you press save on that. The other option on here that you need to do is under network, and link network it'll ask you for the main door station IP address so obviously you can just see on the software there they're their IP addresses so you just put that in there and for ours it was 41 so if we press save that's pretty much the configure that unit done so if we'll check see if the indoors came back up which it has so if we go on to that under remote config again and under intercom ID configuration as you can see it's changed to a station extension so if we go into network and link network now and you put the IP address of the main indoor unit which is 200.40 and save so now if we press the button on the um, indoor um, well sorry the outdoor station that should now call the indoors both at the same time so if we try that now yep so if we try the extension now, and as you can see here, that's bringing both units. So that's pretty much everything covered today. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.